Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Modern Warfare 3 In-Depth. In today's episode, we're going over the RSASS Sniper Rifle, or as many of you pointed out, the RSASS Sniper Rifle, getting those buttocks from two different local dialects of English, being British English and American English. But let's skip to the actual uh, stats on this weapon. Just a heads up, this weapon is very, very similar to the Dragunov in a lot of ways, but I like it much, much better for its uh, recoil. But let's get to the uh, proper numbers. First up, it'll do 70 damage normally and 50 with a silencer. This makes it one of the several low damage sniper rifles in Modern Warfare 3. Its body multipliers are pretty crappy. With no silencer, you're only going to get one shot kills directly to the head, not even to the neck. When you do put a silencer on it, you're not getting one shot kills anywhere, so you're always going to have to shoot twice to kill. It shoots at 1200 rounds per minute, which is exceptionally fast, a little bit faster than you could probably handle the recoil, but you might could rock at 4, 5, 600. With the RSASS, unfortunately, your move speed is only 80%. It's one of the slower moving sniper rifles in this game. Its ADD reload time is 2.40 seconds. It is the fastest to raise and drop at 0.9 seconds and 0.55 seconds. So changing to your pistol or putting this weapon away is very, very easy to do with the RSAS. That's one of its good features. The RSAS is completely unparalleled in magazine size. It has 20 rounds in the magazine normally and 30 with extended max. This is twice as much as its nearest competitor, the Barrett and Dragunov sniper rifles. Where this weapon truly shines is its exceptionally low recoil. This is a spammer sniper rifle of choice. It really just doesn't kick very much. When you use the kick proficiency, it kicks even less. Even though it's normally going to take two shots to kill, you can squeeze pow pow and they'll go pretty much on target and you don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to go worry about going for headshots upper body shots. You've got 20 rounds to spare, so just poop out your bullets and they'll hit something. There are two ideal ways to use the RSAS sniper rifle. The first is to play hardcore team deathmatch and use a silencer and use it as a very accurate, fast-firing, one-shot kill machine. That works pretty good. Not everybody plays hardcore. As a matter of fact, not very many people play hardcore. So when you're playing in core, the ideal way to use this sniper rifle is with a silencer. The reason for that is it shoots very fast, it shoots very accurately, and with a silencer you're going to need two shots to kill. You're not really losing anything because even without a silencer, 99% of the time you're going to need two shots to kill. So putting a silencer on doesn't really change your time to kill, your shots to kill, your effective range or anything. It keeps you off the radar and you can just keep on pumping those 20 rounds into people. Well guys, I hope you learned something useful. In the next episode, I'm going to be going over the MSR sniper rifle, and that's going to finish out sniper rifle. So you guys need to tell me what to do next. Do I need to do submachine guns, assault rifles, shotguns, uh, something else, battlefield in depth maybe? Just be sure to let me know. Drifter out.